Hey, what's up, guys? This is Victor here, and today let's talk about Lord Tolkien. Lord Tolkien. Now, this name threw me back a little bit because I was wondering why did they call it the Lord Tolkien? I still haven't found that out yet. Someone in our Telegram group, feel free to join us. Link in the video description. Mentioned this to my attention and said, "Hey, take a look at them. They, I think they have something good going on." So I decided to take a look. Now, this is one prayer that I think the very first thing that caught my eye is the fact that they are powered by Binance Cloud. Now, this is not an endorsement from Binance directly. It's just telling you that the infrastructure behind the exchange and some of their services that they are running is powered by Binance directly and you as an individual can actually reach out to Binance Cloud and have them build a bespoke exchange for you. Essentially, the, you will be using the same services that run Binance and I think that's very key as we look at the support for tokens that are already within this exchange directly. You have a support for so many tokens and coins as you have already on Binance and I think potentially they should be able to provide most of the services that Binance already provides to most of their customers. Why this is very key is in some locations like where I live, uh, where Binance has been banned. Now, all of a sudden, I have access to another service that, you know, provides similar quality to what Binance provides. And while fees might differ across the two different platforms, the experience should largely remain the same. The speed of transaction should also be the same. The level of security is what you have on Binance that will also be transferred to this particular platform as well. The only thing that will be different is the fact that the branding would look different. But beyond that, it's essentially Binance in another skin. That is a plus in my own books as I see it. Now, also very key for me is the fact that they have a launch pad. Now, they don't have any services running on a launch pad at the time of this recording, but it's very important for you to know that some of the biggest gains you will ever make in cryptocurrency would come from pre-sale. And these guys are going to be bringing up, you know, they need to come up with guns blazing, bringing out some of the best projects for their launch pad, especially the very first or the first two. And I don't expect them to slack in that department. So if you wanted to speculate on, you know, pre-sales that should do well, I think you should keep your eye out on this one because they, I expect them to put their best foot forward as far as the first launch that should come out on their launch pad. So look forward to this one as well. That should give you another reason probably why you should want to buy this token. Now, this token has launched already. The launch token is called the LTT and launched a couple of days ago. Currently sitting at 0.03. If you check on CoinGecko, it's not yet listed on CoinMarketCap to show you how new it is. If you take a look at the price action, that's another thing I also saw that you know caught my attention as well. The fact that you have that initial spike in price, but over time, you see a consolidation as the price is moving sideways, showing that people are consolidating. They aren't necessarily selling. You are not seeing some really crazy spikes to the downward direction. It shows that there is some level of faith in this particular project. And I want to continue to observe and see what's happening to this project. It's very, very new. And I think the price is kind of very enticing at 0 0.03 with a total supply of just 2 billion. There is a lot to look forward to. If they do well, they could easily cross multiple zeros and move over to like the $1 mark. Now, I'm not making a price prediction because I don't have all the details I need to make that happen yet, but I can easily see that happen for a product that is well developed. And this one looks like they have the fundamentals right. So that is on the speculation aspect regarding the token and where it is going to. It's very difficult to tell in this kind of market, Bitcoin can do something crazy tomorrow. But barring that, barring any unforeseen circumstances, they have some very good fundamentals. And I also key for me in terms of trying to, you know, invest in this particular project is the fact that the team behind this particular project are fully doxxed. And you take a look at their white paper, you can see all the team members, you know, what they have done in the past, who they are, you know, the experience in blockchain or in cryptocurrency. And I think that is very good to see in this environment. You don't see this very often where you have projects that have fully doxed members and they have some experience in blockchain or in cryptocurrency. And they are bringing that to the fore as they, you know, combine their powers to make this project move forward. Gives me a lot of confidence in this particular project. I haven't done a deep dive into like the fundamentals of their tokenomics. I haven't seen like a full breakdown of the tokenomics document, but that is also similar to some of the centralized exchanges out there as well. They don't really give you so much information about how their tokens are being distributed. 
And that is something I also need to do with some little bit of homework on and then maybe bring it to you guys' attention as well. But beyond that or besides that, I think every other thing looks really good to me. I'm really looking forward to see where they take this project in the near future. I think that the launchpad aspect is going to be a very big one. Beyond the launchpad as well, they do have a number of other services that they also want to run. And so that includes the Lord Token Exchange, the Lord Token Auto Trade, Lord Token Finance, and the Launchpad, which we just talked about not too long ago. So there is a lot to look forward to in this particular project. I don't want to ramble on about what they are, and but beyond some of the few things that I think I still need to do some homework on, I think this is one to watch, at least to put on your radar for some level of investment, especially Launchpad. I think it might be really, really big. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you like the video, feel free to give us a like to share this message to as many people as possible. Thank you guys for sticking out with me on this one. Until I catch you in the next one, stay winning.